just after refrigerant recovery. So now it's the refrigerant is covered, recovered, and you can see it's down to uh, 766 microns. It's been there for the last five minutes. So we know we have all the refrigerant out of the system, at least 99.9% .9 of it. Now we're gonna put nitrogen in the system. I have the low side off. I have the high side open. You can see it's open right there. I have the nitrogen hooked up. And we're just gonna put a little through the high side. It's gonna go all through the high side liquid line condenser, go through the liquid line, hit the expansion valve. The nitrogen is gonna push through the expansion valve, through the evaporator, through the suction line and fill up the low side. So let's open it up and let's watch the pressure go up. So there we go. Put a few PSI in there. And that's more than enough. Close off the high side. I like to leave like one PSI in there. I want nothing so when the technician or yourself, anybody's gonna open this, no oil splashes in their eyes. So I open up this, bleed off a little bit. There we go, like that. And I'll just leave that in the system. And now it's ready. When it gets opened up, instead of being under a vacuum and having the moist, humid air rush inside and totally absorb into the refrigerant oil that is coating all the surface area. The surface area adds up to a lot, a lot of surface area and there's oil on it. And all that surface area does a better job at removing the moisture out of the air in a larger mass volume than if it was four ounces of oil in a little shot glass with a narrow opening. Your moisture exposure area would be the size of a quarter where the air is touching the top. But if you got that same four ounces of oil and if you added up all the inter internal uh, surface area of all the tubing and anything, you'd have basically one square meter of flat surface area. And you spread the four ounces of oil on one flat meter and then expose that to the atmosphere. Now you have one meter square meter of area of a thin layer of oil where all the molecules could latch on to the H2O molecules in the air and lock onto it using a molecular bond and hold on to the water instead of a little tiny surface area. This is why you backfill with nitrogen prior to opening the system. All right, see you guys later.